In this lesson, we'll cover how to set up groups and apps in your Launchpad. I mentioned it before that your Fiori administrator sets up the default Launchpad with the default groups and apps organized, but you can actually change that. And that's the part that we'll cover in this lesson now. Okay, so in this lesson, I'll show you how you can personalize your home page or your Launchpad page, the page that you see when you log into Fiori. Um, I'll show you how you can reorder the apps within a group. You can also change the order of the groups and you can add new groups too. Uh, in addition, there's something called My Group. It's kind of like the your favorites or the most important apps you can group together in My Group and I'll show you how to do that. And then also how to work with the tile catalog or the, the app store, if you will, or the app catalog. If you want to add additional apps that are not on your launch pad, you can go into the tile catalog, search for an app, and then add it to a group on your launch pad. So we're back at the home page, and now let me show you how you can personalize this home page by either rearranging the tiles, changing the groups or the group order. And you start by clicking on this button here at the bottom right to personalize your home page. Now you're suddenly in change mode. And now you can, for example, rearrange the order of your tiles. Take, a, take this My Timesheet app, for example. I use this a lot every day. So really, I want this to be at the beginning of the group. So I just simply drag the tile and move it over here in that order. And I can do the same thing with approved timesheet. I want this to be in the second position. So I simply drag this over and put the tiles in the order that I want. Also, I can click on the group name here. It says human capital management, and I can now change it to something else if I want it to. I can also grab the group, the title, and if I click on my click on the title with my mouse and drag it. Notice how I can now move the entire group. So let's move it under the retail section. Okay, so now I just changed the order of the groups. Human capital was first, but now it's in second position. Retail is actually above it. So just remember, you can change the order of the tiles and you can change the order of the groups. And notice when I go all the way to the top, there's a special group on top called My Home. Uh, think of it as your favorites section. There's a little lock icon next to it, so you can't change that. The group's always there, but you can fill it with your favorite tiles. So for example, I said that I use that timesheet app a lot, so I'm gonna grab this and drag it all the way up into the My Home group because that's where I want it. I want all my favorites to be there. And let's say um, this is a transaction that I use every day too, transfer stock, moving materials from one location to another. So I want to grab this and drag it up into the My Home section. Okay. Additionally, I can create new groups too. If I click on this button here, Add Group, I could create a group called um, day, oops, daily tasks, for example. And now I could drag tiles in here that I have to execute on a daily basis. Right. And I can also change the order of, of these groups. So I could have another group called weekly tasks or monthly reports that I need to run, something like this. And if you don't need a group anymore, you can also simply click on the delete button, confirm that you want to delete the group, and it's gone. And when you're done with your changes here, simply click on this personalize home page button again and you exit the change mode. And now it's back to just display mode in exactly the way that I wanted it. All right, so here are my timesheets and transfer stock tiles are in the my home section. That's how I configured it. Now, additionally, there might be a di uh, other apps that are not displayed here, but that you can add to it. And to do so, you click on the navigation pane menu, 
and then you go to the bottom and you click on the tile catalog button okay so this will display the tile catalog or, or the app catalog it shows you all the apps that your user is authorized to use so there are a lot more apps of course available in this system but your user won't be authorized to use all of them so you only see the ones that are assigned to your user role on the drop down here you can either display just the Fiori apps catalog or all catalogs and you're in, in this case I only have the apps catalog available no others but there could be additional catalogs too so let's say I'm looking for a specific tile for my accounts I simply type in the search term right here and it shows me all the apps with the name account in the title and I see up there's one app here and notice that it has a plus sign at the bottom that means this app is not on my home page and the plus sign indicates that I can add it to my home page if I wanted to let me cancel out of this notice that all these apps they don't have a plus sign here at the bottom they have a check mark the check mark indicates that this tile this app was already added to my home page so all of these tiles they're already on my home page but if I search for accounts again I find this app that shows my accounts and it's not added to the home page so I want to add it now so I'm going to click on the plus sign and now it's asking me well what group do you want to add this tile to so I could add it to CRM which would make sense but really I want to add it to the my group section I simply say OK and I get a success message and now the plus sign changed into a check mark that means this was now assigned to my group okay so I go back and now I'm back at my home page and notice this app now shows up my accounts that wasn't there before I just added this okay. and that is how you can personalize your home page again you set up your own groups you change the order of anything and you can add tiles and same thing you can obviously also remove tiles if there's any tiles on here that you don't need same way you can remove those tiles